know what I want them to do. Let's do another Waste. plantation when they're done. So I just hit the shift. So they'll move over there. I did not assign. Because I don't really know what to do with them. Let's have them go. I don't know. We'll just wait. Yes. <laughs> I guess. I don't usually do that, but. What am I going to Oh, okay, fine. Just go here. This is a bad layout. I don't want to leave with the wall there and all this stuff. I'm just trying to show you guys how to play this. All right, so here, let's upgrade. Let's upgrade. Oh, by the way, if I click one to upgrade, it'll like put the upgrades in the same building. So what I like to do is individually click on the building and then for the same purposes of the um, the armory, this these buildings. So they're all upgrading now. So if we go to two, I only built one though. So we might as well just do one. Three. Um, oh, let me show you these. These are so fun. <laughs> Let's do one of those, one of those, and one of those, and I'll show you what they do. Alright. Oh, look! We get factories! Alright, so a factory wagon's gonna come. We want both of them. You wanna get these cards as soon as you can. Because, um... Oh, by the way, I never usually let that just sit there. I, you, I always claim it right away, usually. Unless I really don't need something. But, uh, you might as well. That's the whole point do of the game. So... Um, are we upgraded there? We can upgrade there. No, at this point of the game, I just be like, let's make sure we're upgraded. That's for traps, like, again, hunting animals. I'm not going to waste my time on that. Okay, upgrades. These. See, look at the notice. Oh, Wait, look. Uh, we're going to upgrade that, and I'll come back and I'll show you. So, mental note that. Let's just keep checking hi. to make... Oh, there's our factory. Factories, you want to protect them. So, I usually Rick? put them in the back. I put a wall around it. If you watch the other game with my son, I kind of joked about it. Um, so I would usually put like a wall or two in on the interior of my wall city. Because once they tear down a factory, you don't get it again. So it's critical. If you find their factory, tear it down. All right. We're going to upgrade that to the gold to get it better. Ready. And then all these people are sitting around because I didn't do it. Oh, let's go on the Ready. plantation. I forgot. Let's do the plantation. There's a hotkey for this. And I'm forgetting what it is. Maybe it's yes. Okay. This yes. guy is awesome. He's really good against buildings. See that? A little cannon. I mean, a little cannonball will fly out of there. Pretty Commandment. Cool. These guys have to set up. And you could... You could tell them to set up their little cannon. I was. And then it, he moves really slow. Look at that. Okay? So if you're like, oh my god, hurry, get over there! And he's like that, you better turn him back. So wait, you turn him back to this mode. Alright? But here's the beauty of I it. If you so. tell him, you assign him like if I was wanting him to attack, I'd right click on that. He would automatically turn it into his firing mode and then shoot, and then, like, if you told him to move, I think oh, he'd change. So you really don't have to worry about him too much. Yes. Now, this guy, I think, does the same thing. There's his firing mode. I don't know where the horse goes. Where do you think the horse goes? Like, is he in there? Like, maybe it shoots horses. I don't know. All right, so, uh, again, it'll move slow. Now. Ready. Let me just tell you a little bit about these. Uh, these are good against other artillery. So, if they have cannons and things like that, it's good. Ships. These are really good against ships. Actually, they're all kind of, but that one is. And then this, but we're not playing ships in this one. Uh, better against infantry than buildings. Pay attention, because if you want to destroy the buildings, you don't want to build a bunch of these. But if you want to destroy the people, then you build that. This is great against buildings, forts, if you have, a, like, several of them. And you can build five at a time. Um, so, usually yes. what I do in a game, I will have, like I showed you, seven of these. Six plus. So, six or more. For the, um, for the artillery, Weesh. I might have two Weesh. or three. Because they're very expensive, each unit. And I don't want to build a ton of them. I mean, honestly, think about that. Five? Look how much gold that used. Okay, like 2,000? Yeah. So, anyway. Yes. Um, but for the horses, Rift. they kind of die fast. So, I, there are another one that Rift. I maybe only do, like, maybe four. So, again, let's assign it. So, I'm going to push three for the uh, army. And then 
I select the new ones and I push, hold the shift down and then three. So the horses I'm going to hold, select or, or push number two, select that one, the original one, and then hold down and left click, left click, left click when I'm holding the shift key and then I push the two and now look at the map down here. You can see the one, the two, and the three. All right. And we got four. Oh, it doesn't color, but the four is this. Wait. Oh, I pushed five. Four is this one. See how it lights up. I'm not clicking. It's just I'm pushing the button. And then we've got five, which is the hometown sound center. Now, you might, you can reassign it. Um, and then six. Six is the fort. Yeah. Okay, we get to uh, improve the fort and the wall. So let's take a look at the wall before it upgrades so you can see the difference. So, um, also, let's look at... I thought that upgraded. Oh, it did a little bit. I guess it did. It doesn't look that different, does it? I think maybe it's this one. Wait, let's read it. Outposts get a cannon attack and more. Okay. Oh, so it's going to shoot cannons out. That's the one I wanted to show you. Oh, no. Look at this. All right. So I'm going to select my military yes, over here. Let's make this group nine. Shift nine. Yes. And we can send them over here. Let's do them Ready. for ship eight. Now, normally, shift, shift, shift eight. I mean, so. normally I don't. I mean, I have more range. So we're gonna have them over here now. I have these guys. So like, I only have one more tab left. So let's huh? assign all these guys to seven, and then I can go like Not this. Okay, I hope that you didn't Good. need that trade here. site. So too. oh, they're changing positions. Ready? They're changing positions. So now maybe I don't want them to march or something. I want them to go after here. So then look at yes. that group. I think I might want them to come over here because there's an obstacle here. And then uh, seven is right there, so I can change. That's why I assigned the group of people, just like I did the buildings. And if you notice, I pretty much have all military assigned. Why assign a villager? I will tell you though, sometimes, um, especially in the age of mythology, I would assign villagers to build, um, they're kind of like outposts, but they're visual buildings to see part of the map. So I'd, I'd assign him to go to that. But in this one, I never, IOA 3, I never assign villagers, rarely. Um, you really don't need to. So, and I guess I forgot all our yes? cannon guys. All right, cannon guys. Um, I will. Let's have him go over here. All right, here's the thing. Remember we assigned uh, two and three? <laughs> guess what? I did not do a checkpoint. And you can't do a checkpoint until the buildings are actually built. So right now, if this building produces, they're going to just stand around this building. So you have to reassign where you want them. So let's go. So often I'll just go one, right click, two, right click, three, right click, four, which is, um, it doesn't show up on the map, but it's that guy. But I want to leave that there maybe. Or maybe not. Maybe I want all the military together. Okay. Then five is the hometown. So six is the forge. So I want that over here. But one, two, and three are my main ones, right? One, two, three. Look how fast I can go back. <laughs> All right, so let's do some more upgrades because, you know, we have all this. Look at this. Look how much we have. How cool is that? You know how fun it is to spend, right? Isn't it fun to spend money? Go to the store and just spend it. Woohoo! I'm spending money. <laughs> That's what this is like when you have a lot of resources. And then when, if they didn't manage their money very well, then they're like, oh, how can you afford all that? You know what? I can't do this. It's frustrating. But that's how you can get the upper edge. Now, look, the cannons are here. I want to show you that. So we'll shoot cannons out. Very, very strong. Here's our factory. So this will do the wood, the gold, and uh-oh. Oh, didn't I send all my cannons there? All right, quick. Let's. Yes, so it I can just select ready. eight and nine and seven, and then they're all going to go. Do you see how fast I did that? Look at that map. I just yes, yes, boom, 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 boom. So they're all going back, and then I have um, these guys don't have to go around anything, but that's okay. Just leave them. Oh no! Look Hiya? at these guys. Here's what's great. Okay, let's pretend we're in battle. Come on, the men. I just don't want to deal with them. I think much. Okay. Well, literally just have them build in the middle of nowhere. All right, so um, we're maxed out. So otherwise, I could build a bunch of units really quick. 
But our guys, oh no, I forgot to uh, send yes. them over yes. here. Yes. So let's go like this. I'm just flipping through the numbers. Six. So let's come over here. And these guys aren't going to stand a chance. They tear down a building too. Woohoo. All right. Oops, there isn't enough. So let's just build this. See, it's nice. I don't have to worry. Oh, do I have enough food? Or, I mean, wood to build that? Yes. And then let's go here. You can just go here, here. I don't know what he's doing. Let's just send him Imenso. over there. Sometimes Hi. I just send him far away. By the time they get there, I have to yes. do something else. Uh, because you will run out of wood. Hi. So. Oh, we got a factory. We got another factory. So, yes. oh, look, it'll fit there. Normally, I don't put up that type buildings. But in fact, we can just delete this one. Watch. So I hit the delete button. Are you sure you want to delete it? Shoot it, yes. And it goes down. I have another one. I don't think your improvements go away anyway. Um. So you could kill. Oh, did you see the cannon? <laughs> Alright, you could delete your villagers if you have too many. Oh, I didn't get to finish telling you. So the upgrades, these are all upgrades. So I like to go upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. They're kind of cheap. Did you notice that? Look, 200. Just might as well do it. Um, this is a special unit, which let's show you what that is. Let's put it right here. My son loves to build those. Oh, but I got all these upgrades. Let's do this. Then I'll do the, oh. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter. It's queuing down at the same time. This is going in the order of the green and then the blue. Okay. All right, so they damage the building. We can click on this little repair, and then it magically repairs itself. That's really cool. Let's upgrade. Look how cheap the upgrades are. Now, normally, I got a little lazy. Let's upgrade him over there. I spread the wealth. I spread the wealth, the research wealth, or whatever you want to call it. Okay. okay. We're really close to maxing out. I mean, like, we could, I mean, if we want, we can just throw money away. Uh, that's going to make gold. Uh, we upgraded all that. Do we have we have 200 with maximum houses? We have a lot of villagers. So look, oh gosh, look how much I have gold. Now I have too many. Hail. Let's fix yes, that. Ready. So we go like this. You yes, click on it. Yes, 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 all yes, the people. Yes, yes, yes. So on, let's ready. go with um, the ones way over here. Come on, and let's man. have them. Wood. Let's have them go after wood. Cause look at that. I only have five. Now, remember, I can come over here and go, oh, no, I need wood. And do that. So. Ah, let's get the iron horse. Upgrades to the train. And it will go much faster. Okay, look. See, here's the stagecoach. Hey, here's a fun little trivia thing. Or whatever, piece of knowledge. If you ever visit Carson City, Nevada... Um, in the old district where the houses are, it's really cool. I think they filmed some John Wayne movies there, stuff like that. Um, and Samuel Clemens' brother, which is Mark Twain, had a house there. Very historical site. It's really close to Virginia City. It's pretty amazing to go to. But the point of this is, is some of the houses in the Blue Line Tour, if you go there, just look Google Blue Line Tour. Um, there's these steps that are cement steps kind of by the edge of the street. And you're like, okay, they go nowhere. They're two steps up. They were for stagecoaches. For people, it was a stagecoach stop, or the rich people had them built in front of their house specifically for them. So um, it's kind of cool because, like, obviously the stagecoach doesn't go there anymore, but they're still existing yes. there. So I just think it's I kind won't. of cool because it's our history and all that. Yes. And a lot of those houses are haunted, uh -huh. like really haunted. We know people that lived in them and stuff. Um, I'm just having the sign to the buffalo because, you know, I, I, I'd rather them get food than stand around. So anyway, um, it's a really fun historic place to visit. Okay. Ready. Look, she's just doing nothing. Might as well just toss her on there. Uh, at this point, I mean, we're maxed out pretty much. Oh, we can upgrade these things. We can go here. Just click around. Make sure you have everything upgraded. Look at this. Oh, we can get to five. All right, let's get to five before we end the game and go slaughter them. All right, five, four thousand food, oh, wow. six hundred coin, which you get two thousand back. So just go like this. Um, this, okay. Um, so we're gonna get to the fifth level, and I'll show you the last little bit. These Ready. special units, Come my on, son David. loves, and Ready. they're really good against 
boats. If you watch their videos, I'm like, rockets! They got rockets! Which means they have factories. So yes. he likes to build those, but because I'm really good at resources, I tend to just be like, oh, I'd just rather make gold or food. I mean, wood. So again, remember what I told you about the wood running out? See, I'm self-generating the food and the gold. The only thing is the wood. And look at this. Ready. Really? Gonna, they sent three over here. They knew how many I had, too. That's how bad this AI is. Okay. Because it's on easy. So, but this is a good kind of satisfying game. If you're like, oh, I want to upgrade everything and just have fun with it, then you play on easy. All right. What was I waiting on? Oh, jeez. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. All right. Let's see, are there any, did I forget, are you guys screaming at me? Remember what to do? I was doing something, what was I upgrading? Oh, I know, I was aging up. And hey, I'm gonna upgrade things if I can. Because that's the thing, you've gotta remember to upgrade. Upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. Because if they do, then they've got the upper hand. So, and a lot of people forget to upgrade. I heard a cow, somewhere there's a cow. We have cows! All right. Da, da, da. We just went up. So see the little gold packages here hidden behind the town on, center. So I'm gonna yes. click on her and she can go get them. And if you if it's like over, see how it changes. Like go in the house or e get the gold. So even though I'm clicking on the house, it's not. It changes. See the little icon thingy, the finger. All right. Oh, remember I told you these will produce faster. So I always I like to upgrade that. That just gives you more experience points. So if you're like trying to eight, like get levels. Um, to get more cards, you can do that, but I don't really need to. I guess I can do it. Um, oh, this is Imperial Rocket. So this improves the rockets. I'm not going to even do that because I'm not going to build them. Let's show you uh -huh. what you can build in the fifth level. A capital! Because now you're all hoity-toity. You can have a government. Yay! Collect taxes and stuff. I'm just kidding. I think you did taxes. I forget where the taxes were. Or maybe it was in there. Oh, look! They're like, we got smarter! We brought... We brought... Ready. Here. Ready. Okay, Commandment. Oh, my left wing isn't working Commandment. very well. Ready. I need to change it now. Want. I just haven't done it. It's like my clicker thingy kind of went out. Yes. Yes. All right. Oh. It doesn't... Listen to the chair. Oh, they didn't do the audio! Whatever. They're still happy. That's all that matters, right? And we're still in the game. All right, we can do this. And you can just go, oh, let's just uh, give more. Keep that girl that's unpacking busy. Okay, so we are waiting on this to be built. Here's the capital. There's a really cool thing in here. Blockade. It, okay, well, this isn't the cool thing, but I'll tell you. This is a start from the left. All right. Sets up a blockade on enemy home cities, preventing them from getting any shipments. I kind of don't think that's too cool, so I don't do that ever. Maybe people do it to me and I don't even notice. I don't know. Spies! This is really cool. You can see everything your enemies can see. If you're rich, you can afford it. <laughs> Again, resources are king. So, uh, look at that. 3,500. Do you really think I should do it? I have 16,000 gold. <laughs> no brainer. Boom! I can see everything now. I don't have to send a scout down there. Let's go check out what they did real quick. See, they built all this other stuff that I didn't know about before. This comes in handy when they hide their last villager. If you watch the video with my son, when I play against him and his friend, he was hiding them. <laughs> so they got mad at me because I was killing I was just trying to get out. Whatever. All right, so if you're like, where are they on the map? You know, instead of sending them all. And by then, if there's only two villagers, it's really cheap. You can afford it even if you don't have much gold. But I had a lot of gold, so why not? All right, knighthood. Explorer hit points greatly increased. I don't even know why. He's kind of useless guy. I mean, I guess he could take one out with this sniper shot Ready. guy. That's, we're talking about him. Honest. Oh, look, he can build another town center now because I got enough wood. Oh, look, and he's got two abilities. He must have got that in the... Uh, I probably upgraded it somewhere. I don't always read. Um. So, like... That just gives them some better hit points. All right. Immigrants. Allows you to support a hundred population without the need for houses or town centers. This would be good if you lost your town center or they're attacking you and you lost your houses and you can go hide somewhere else, like in your friend's camp because of your teammate's camp. Maybe that would be good. I rarely need this because um, 
look what happens when I send villagers out over here. Yes. It wouldn't take very much to build a house over here while they're way over here attacking me or something, right? Um, that's another reason why I like to kind of put villagers all over the map. You can, like, I could, I could have put some down here. They'd probably never even notice. All right. Um, that's another strategy. Let's see where we're at. Okay, here it is. Villagers gather food from mills much faster. By the time I get to the fifth level, let's face it. Do I even need that? I mean, look, I got 22,000 food. All right. Villagers gather wood much faster. Uh, again, here's the thing with that. Once the wood runs out, it's not going to do you any good anyway. And they're kind of expensive. I mean, early on in the game, they're kind of expensive. 1,000 food and 900 gold for that ability. At this point, I don't even need it. So, um, excessive taxation, there's banks if you're different, like if you're, I think the Americans or something, I don't know, there's banks. Uh, they gather, but villagers gather coin from all sources faster. Again, we're kind of late in the game, I don't need it. And the Native American warrior attacks and hit points are greatly increased. That one might be good because they're a little weaker somehow. But let's just do it because we can. <laughs> Look, it's fun to spend when you've got lots of currency yes. or resources. Ready. Oh, look, there's our cow. Let's just have him home. Commandment. All right, what should we have them do? Forster. I don't know. Let's just go get some Ready. wood. All right, at this point, you might go, oh, I'm tired of him. Don't you love that cell? Maybe we should kill all these guys. Watch this. Are you sure you want to do this? Oh! Ah! They're like, why? You just killed us. Because, look, I got more people. All right, so let's build up our army. One, two, three, four, six. I'm gonna put them all right here. So we can do this. We can do this. We can go here. We can build more camp. Let's build a few of those. Look at that. And I'm already maxed out. So one here, here, here. And then we can go here. And oh, let's get some wood. I don't know. We don't really need it, but that's okay. Yes, sir. All right, so let's start to plan to move Come in. Come on, I'm ready. I mean, I'm gonna put them all right here. Actually, I should have done this. I'm just clicking and right clicking, clicking each number and then right clicking to reassign it all. There, in the other versions of AOE, there's a button and it drives me nuts. This one doesn't have it. Yes. But it's call all your military. So you like literally push the button. I forgot to talk about this button, but anyway, then you can assign it to like here, and then the all you'll see your whole map like it's really cool. Whoa, all the military will go there. Um, and I I think it's AOE two, which. Has a lot of people like AOE 2 better? Um, gosh, if I had to pick. I love the way this one functions, but there's some limitations like this limit. I think AOE 2 lets you have more. I can't remember. Because it's been... It might have been like a year since I played. No, not maybe a year. Good eight months or so. I don't know. Anyway, point is I haven't played for a Come while. Come on, and, Okay, let's let him kill these guys and then... Poor little horse, you didn't stand a chance! Alright, and plus, look, like we got cannons shooting out here. Alright, so let's just have wall. this go down here. And... Ah. Honestly, do we. I mean, I know I probably Ready? should focus. Care, but, like, Asa, asa, asa. We've got so much. We'll just have him fight back. Alright, let's, let's just go play this game! If you have Lay questions on. or comments, please, um, I'll do my best to respond. Um, just post them. Um, I mean, so. Guys down here. I mean, this game is going to go really quick at this point. Avon. Um, we'll attack out. Obviously, your strategy for attacking, I mean, there's just war strategies. You flank them or, um, call them out. Uh, you obviously want to kind of go after the buildings that are going to do damage to your units. Also, see how they're all shooting this building and then that thing shoot, the explorer shooting at them? So you want to assign some to take him out, because... Kind of, okay, there are some, by the way, advanced commands. Oh, they are. Maybe this version doesn't have an ice. Attack, move. So when they move, I guess they attack as they go. I don't know. So, uh, I don't really mess with that because honestly, I, will. I just send them in battle. I win yes. like a lot, so I'm the one in the family to be. I've been playing this like almost 15 years, I think. So, anyway, the thing is, is that yes. it's kind of the, the joke. And, um, and if my, when, uh, about eight years ago, maybe, yeah, maybe eight or ten years ago, my older son was 
be able to actually beat me by rushing me, and then I learned that that was my weakness. So then I'd come, and I'd play against the computer, and I played, and I, I played against Expert, and I just was like, I gotta learn how to run so if somebody rushes me. So I, I, I built up my weakness, I mean, I, I, I strengthened it, so that wasn't the case anymore. Now, obviously, I'm a little rusty now, so if they rushed me, I would have been in trouble, but... Um, but, uh, also we kind of have a rule not to play against each other anymore because it gets heated and people get mad. And <laughs> so honestly, if that's how it is going in your family, this is supposed to be a family fun game. And, you know, it's all, a, we tag, take it in fun, so I tease them. And they, the game, they knew, I mean, Fred really did say, Oh, I want to get wrecked by your mom. Let's get wrecked. I mean, they know it. They team up. They're, they're it's two against one. So they have some fun between them, two of them, against a common enemy, you Ready. know. So that's all good and fun. But the thing is, is that sometimes if people can't, and your family can't handle it, then just play together on the same team against the AI or other people, I guess, because then you are fighting together and that can be very enjoyable as well. So what's happened here is the AI has recognized I'm done, but they give you a choice. The other players, if you're playing against human players, they can just resign, but she's going to say, I want to stop. So she's resigning. I can choose yes and in the game, and I can choose no. I am done. Let's choose no. You can stop now. What that means is that you now are going to have to destroy every last bit. And the reason you may want to say no is so that you get the points. See that 40? Did you see that 40 go up? And then there's another 40. You're getting all these points. Yes. So if you're trying to build up it and waits. get the card, you want to hit no. Um... By the way, they're kind of just destroying stuff up here. So let's do this. I'm going to send... Let's send some... Look, they got horses. Let's send some of those guys over here. I got lots of guys standing around. Obviously, you don't want to do that. Hey, look, there's one villager over here. We have to take her out uh, to win now because I yes. turned it down. When you turn it down, it's kind of a pain because you do have to take out everybody. Like, you can't leave. So, like... Like this guy, she's, look, she she resigned really, so he's not even doing anything. Although, oh, well, I guess not. I take it back. He is. They're still playing. Look how fast he. And I didn't even have to worry about it. He signed it. It was coming, and victory is yours. I hope so. It was kind of an easy game. So, um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to tell you. Wow, look at those cows they had. Oh, they were slaughtering the cows. They were making burgers. All right. Um, obviously, the brown dots are the food source. The green is the trees. If there was blue, it'd be water. Um, now, at this point, you always want to ch uh, to check your view post game. This is critical. And in fact, if you watch my other videos, I talk about it at every game. We look at it. So you get your points. Uh, most treasures. That's usually. I mean, <laughs> I get a lot of purple on my screen uh least resources so even the people that don't do as well get some points um i went up in level and that's all the experience i got all that stuff so here's where you want to, to this is where you can figure out where your weaknesses are your strengths are were you right on with the ai or were you under it where what and if you can't figure something out um Go to the last tab. I'll show you in a second. All right. So all resources. So look at that. I cleaned house. 149,000. He made 32,000. So who was stronger? Who was richer? Who was more powerful? Of course, I was because of the resources. Because with resources, you can build more units. And I don't even care if they kill every single unit. I could just whip out another, you know, another 50 of them, 50 of them, 50 of them. Well, I had seven buildings. So seven, five, that's 35 units a pop every time it was queued up. All right. So, um, I didn't go after treasures. I should have showed you. There's a couple. Usually there's one treasure that's, like, not guarded by any enemy, and you can just get it. Rewind the video. You'll see. I think their guy goes around getting it, and I forgot to talk about it. Anyway, uh, free resources. I think that's from the factories. Free units. That's probably the shipments. Okay? Economy. Again, the resources. Spent on units. I, like, doubled his 
unit production, spent on buildings, I mean, that's like quadrupled, and then spent on improvements. Look, see, I told you he didn't even improve. And maybe it's because he wasn't rich enough to improve. Who knows? Or he just forgot to. I mean, it's AI, so it's built that way. But if it was a real player, those are the things. Um, military. So uh, I just didn't have a lot die. Units killed. Buildings raised. Units lost. Buildings lost. You that. Experience. Here's the ex experience points. All right. So look at that. Most of my points were within building and resources and upgrades, all right? The battle only got me 4,000 points. Um, so if you want to get your points up, do what I just did in this video. Play against easy, upgrade everything, then attack, okay? Um, timeline. All unit count. I usually like to go to the idle villagers. Now, I had a lot of idle villagers this time. I don't, it's actually not too bad. But usually see this big, these gaps in here. All right. Um, plateaus. If they, I don't really, maybe because of the timeline. Sometimes if you see like a line here, that means you have like, well, 24 villagers standing around doing nothing. Like right here. See, it, it tells you up in the upper left. So um, I had 23 standing around. But the spikes are okay because it just means they stop for a second and then they did something else. But honestly, I've seen, look, see right here. I was talking a lot to you guys. So for um, 29 seconds to, um, so almost uh, over a minute, almost a minute and, almost a minute and a half, I had six villagers doing nada, nothing. That's critical this early in the game. But, that's okay. I was teaching you guys stuff. You can look at the scores, things like that. Um, now let's go back to the, I'll, you can kind of tell, well, normally you can tell where the battles happen because they usually kind of happen. Maybe right here because I think they might have attacked me there. This is the timeline, so you can kind of look at the time. 14 minutes into it, maybe they attacked. I don't remember. Anyway, um, look, right here is when I attacked, so that killed them all. And then, let's see. Uh, food totals, wood totals. I mean, I know what I'm doing, so I'm higher than the AI, but sometimes this will be reversed and you'll go like, well, how did they do that? And you, what you want to do is go look at how many villagers they had. This is what I figured out years and years and years ago. I'm like, how did they get all this stuff? I go, oh my God, they built like 70 units. See, this AI only built 36. I went up to, what is that? Where's the number? Uh, 60, I guess, or a little more than 60 because that's 60. Oh, well, that's 16. Anyway, the point is, look at that. See? Boom, 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 boom. So I did pretty much. And I remember I was talking a lot. I wasn't even creating them. If I was playing a normal game, it would be higher. Um, so I was writing with the AI. So that tells you you're on the right track if you're at least that. If you're just starting out, you know. Um, those are really what I look at. There's all types of things. Buildings, shipments, XP total. Uh, treasures. I mean, like, I don't really need that graph. Uh, ages. Okay, when they aged up. This is another one to kind of maybe look at. Uh, so, I, I, I beat them there. I mean, like, so you can see when they did it. Um, another thing is to record the game when you play, and you can watch back through your enemy's vision, like, through their eyes and see what they did to get to where you wanted to be or how they beat you or something. That's another way to improve your game. So I think I covered everything. I hope, uh, thanks for watching. I hope it helps. Uh, if you have any questions uh, and or strategies yourself, just let me know. Um, it's always fun. So comments. And um, I hope you enjoy the game as much as I do. This is Wildflower out.